position with another gear behind it. You don't, we don't want it too low as to that it's touching the surface of this one, but we don't want it too high so that you know potentially it's touching the surface of this top here. So we need somewhere in the middle. See, I mean that pushed all the way down. It's, it's not touching that top of it so obviously that in relation to the other gear is going to be important as well but I think we can safely put a shim on top of that one I think something like maybe point two just to start off with you know start little and then get bigger because you want to you don't want to go too tight straight away you see because you don't know if it's too tight then but if you start off too loose, then just go too tight. Mm. Apologise in advance, my I don't do any of the. Uh, I try to do all the, you know, just basically video exactly how I do. I don't try to do all the fancy stuff that you see on some of these other videos and whatnot. Just pretty much. sometimes it's rough, you know what I mean. But uh, at least you guys just—it's literally just as you see it, as I'm doing it. I'll try a point two there, and but hold it nice and tight. See how we've still got a little bit going on. You know, I mean, you can always see it usually in the ends, see in the bearings. You know, if you can see it move any, you know, then, you know, I consider that too much play. So we know that the point two there was not enough. So let's see if we can find a point three. I mean, there's always the option for two, you know, if you want point four, you can go somewhere in the middle with, with a couple of these point twos, you know. So you've got the option for multiple shims, as long as you're, you know, to, to get the whatever correct amount. You don't have to just use the set shims. You know, it, it, it is an art and can't emphasise that enough, you know. Casing. Mm. Still got some. So we're going to go over two point twos now, so we have to lose them all. How's the view? Yeah, that's good, right? Isn't it? Right. Mm. A little bit. Just see what a point five does. Yeah, 
you know, you've always got the option to go back if you want. in this uh, system a set of the uh, gold ones you usually tell they're quite a lot thicker so look I oh, see so now we're on par with the other ones now so it's it's not too close to you know the top of this surface here it's not too close to the top of the gearbox, you know, it's right in the middle. I mean, obviously, we've still got to check the, you know, how it relates to the sector gear here, but let's have a little look. The old cast metal special. So with the guys of these bearings, make sure that they're all pressed in, you know, fully. Um, and obviously if you're using bearings, you don't want it necessarily too loose in there. But you don't want it too tight. You want it enough so that it just is easier to come in and out. Uh, so you've got the option here to sand down these gears, you see. Uh, obviously, depending on your guns and stuff, I haven't had a problem. I needed to on these. But, you know, what you want to do is when they're in there, you just want to see the bearing just turning ever so slightly. Because that's it, really. You know, if, if it's if it's too loose in a bearing, then it's, you might as well have bushes. So they're not going to be, you know, giving you the effect of having the bearing. Uh, where are we? Mm -hmm. and this one goes let me do the same again we just check the overall amount of play and then if it needs shimming we check its relation to the other gears no real movement there a tiny bit not much more than the others I think we'll leave that one I think I mean it, it doesn't just just looking here it doesn't push up enough so obviously we don't want it so high that this bit here is catching on this other gear I think that works. I think it works pretty well. I mean, just flicking these, and they just they just keep going, you know. Afterwards, I mean, if we apply a little bit of the, uh, I don't know, some lithium grease on there, just to, you know, don't have to put a lot on there. You just want just a little bit, just to, um, just to calm down the whole metal on metal thing. Um, you know, to remove any sort of wear or noise, but really, you know, don't go too crazy. It's just going to get dirty and need cleaning again. So yeah, so that's just an example of the how to reshim the uh, AEP gearbox for either a Tokyo Marie or a Chima. This is a Tokyo Marie. 
Um, but obviously you can use this to reshim any gun, so it doesn't have to be just the AP. Use this general principle on another one, so on any gun. But, uh, I hope that's alright and helped you out guys. Um, thank you very much. Cheers.